Development in the US has done. It hasn't really played competitive golf for five or six months. Scribner yep. at the fourth. Nice. Well, he seemed to like it. Just a slight dog leg round to the right. Fairway a little bit off cam, but sloping. The richest one day, I believe. 50, 50,000. These are the money shots here at the third. Dean, second in 2015. And the grain that Ellie was talking about as we watched Scrivener is all the different colours. Uh, yes, nicely done, Scrivener. All the different shades you can see there on the greens. It's the Tiff Eagle. Seven two is the number. Scrivener from three point range. <laughs> Great result. Majors. He wants to play at the WGC events. Well, he's certainly got that sort of game. There's, there's no question. It's at prodigious distances. He's... Jason's just been going quietly about his business. Mistake-free golf. Couple under. Yeah, he's, he's just, last couple of years, he's just worked out how to play this game as a professional, Jason Scrivener. He just passed it. Jason Scrivener's second. And, well, it's on the green. Or Howard Barner. Yeah, I spent a bit of time with him last year after the, on the Sunday. Scrivener, second shot to eight. World number 21. At least take us through this one. Yeah, it should be a little bit uphill, right to left. Uh, it's going to be tough to get it to the hole, but um, <laughs> you saw it took a bit of a bounce there. But uh, yeah, they've been those uphill into the grain putts are they're, they're probably the hardest ones. Quite a player. Jason Scrivener yeah, bins it. Scrivener. Fine start. Launches into his back nine with another wonderful approach. Find it. Well, they would if they could. <laughs> Scrivener ahead at 10. Just going quietly about his business. Club face way open. Oh, oh, look at that from Jason Scrivener. Slam dunk. Adventurous escape from the trap. Minus four. Easy as that. He's starting to set the pace of our afternoon groups. Jace, um, mate, how, how you how you feeling after you know you've you had a great week last week in in Hong Kong? You've had a, a great couple of years in the European tour. Do you, do you feel like you've kind of arrived? That you understand how to play this game as a professional now? Yeah, I think um, yeah, I've learned a lot the last few months. Uh, I've, I've played in some big events and been able to play with some of the best players in the world, and uh, I've definitely picked up um, a lot from them and kind of try to pick their brains and. Uh, yeah, just trying to improve over the last couple of years. So, uh, yeah, we're s slowly getting there and, uh, and um, yeah, hopefully uh, we can compete this week. What do, you, what do you think you need to improve at to get to that next level? Um, I kind of sat down a couple of weeks ago and kind of came up with a bit of, bit of a plan for next year and 
kind of trying to pick up, um, improve about a shot on my stroke average and trying to pick up about half a shot on the greens and, and then maybe another half a shot um, somewhere else. But generally off the tee maybe, if I can find another five or ten in length and then maybe some wedge, wedge work as well. So um, trying to get my stroke average down by close to a shot. Didn't try to hang in there as we see this for Eagle from Jason Scribner. Well, he's going to have that part left to join the lead at six under par alongside Jake McLeod and Matt Jager. There's fives and then there's soft fives and then there's good birdies. That certainly is a good birdie because with that, Jason Scrivener takes a share of the lead. Jason Scrivener, that's a magnificent touch. He made that very tricky shot look. Well, simple. Since last week were absolutely pure. This will be a good up and down. Jason Scribner. Well, they can certainly they can certainly take away the quiet please signs on number 16. Hand side. Oh, ouch. Okay. He's he's just laying it out. Guys are still on the green. Probably still a little annoyed about the three puff back on 17. Side one as we look at Scrivener's third here at 18. Precon Stadium, home of the AFL club, the Gold Coast Suns. Jason Scrivener trying to make his par here at the last. Certainly not a finish he was planning on. It's a hole that often for the for the members here and for the guests plays as a par five, so it is a long way home. The ninth Scrivener. Just to just slip back to four over, a four under for the day, I should say. It's been a wonderful round, but he'll go there to the clubhouse with a little bit of steam, I would imagine. 33, 35, a couple of bogeys at 17 and 18, just to taint that round. Not the finish you wanted, mate. Bogey, bogey, but 68. I'm sure you would have accepted that at the beginning of the day. Yeah, oh, happy with the way I played. Just unfortunately finished with those two bogeys. But um, other than that, it was pretty, uh, pretty flawless. Tied for third last week in Hong Kong. So obviously feeding off a little bit of that form. Yeah, definitely. The game feels like it's come around the last sort of two months and it feels like I'm getting more and more consistent. So um, just want to give myself chances to win tournaments. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we go the next few days. You've had four years on the European Tour now. You played 31 events in 2018. Mm. Is that something you're going to look to uh, perhaps minimise going forward? Definitely. Just um, played way too much this year. Not that I, I planned that, but um, just the way I, I was trying to keep my card in Europe. Played well to get into the final series and then kind of just snowballed, basically. So um, hopefully next year I'll schedule a little bit better so I can be a bit more prepared for the tournaments. Get out there early tomorrow and kill them. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you.